is this? Sign in. Oh boy. <laughs> they look like trash. That's because it's how I feel. Hello and welcome to Bedroom. Home of lamp, dog, and a crow painting. Today I'm very excited to be unboxing Rosy Nights Masquerade which is a dress that I pined for for a long time and then had to wait for customs to release for a very long time and then had to pay a ridiculous amount in customs, but it's totally worth it. I made a mistake when this dress came up for reservation. I took too long to decide whether or not I wanted to reserve it and then the reservation period was over and then when the dress went for sale, I took too long to decide whether or not I wanted to buy it, and it sold out. And then my friend Lydia gave me a hot tip that they had restocked, so I managed to swoop in and snag the cut that I like and the color that I like. This is my first time ordering from Baby the Star Shine Bright online. I've purchased from them in person in San Francisco and in Tokyo. It was pretty smooth on the processing end of things. They did everything they'd say they'd do in a reasonable amount of time. But I am concerned because this package seems really light. So hopefully everything went according to plan and I don't have to wait any longer for this dress. For a lot of people, this is really part of the whole experience. I usually just give the bags away because I don't like stuff taking up space. So it's wrapped really cute in pink tissue paper, which I'm pairing with the box. There's nothing else in there. Sometimes Meta will give you like catalogs of the new stuff that's coming out. Oh, they gave me a hanger. It um, doesn't conform to my hanger aesthetic, however. Um, probably the next time I sell a dress, I'll just put it on here. Okay, there's my stuff. So definitely the dress is in here, and it's definitely the right one. Also in here are some socks. Which I'll show you first. They're just vertical stripey up and downy stockings. But I really liked these ones because they're for the new circus print that they did. I don't really like the print itself. It was miss for me. But these have cute little creepy little circusy stuff. And circus prints are my weakness. So I had been wanting vertical stripe stockings for a while. And when I saw these were vertical stripe with circus theme, I had to get them. So yeah, they're that kind of newish stocking texture that the brands have been using recently. I guess it allows them greater ease of printing. Like, I don't have a problem with them. They're just kind of hard to keep up, but they're nice and stretchy, so I know my legs will fit into them width-wise and length- oh my gosh, maybe not width-wise. Holy crackers. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, these are not gonna fit my quads, but um, hopefully that'll be covered by the hem of my skirt. Ooh. I'll deal with that later. Okay. Looks good. Yeah, that concludes my review. No, it looks good. It's the, um, I think this is JSK number two. Um, so it's the one with the little ruffles up the front there. And I got it in the purple and black colorway. I was really humming and hawing over whether I wanted the gray and black or the purple and black. I was worried that people would think it was too Halloween-y if I got the purple and black. But then I realized that everybody always thinks I'm in costume anyways. 
so I just went with what made me happiest. This seems like it's a pretty short dress, which is fine because I usually wear underskirts. If you are taller than 5'6 and you don't like underskirts, I hope you like arrow. So the fabric with the print on it is just their regular print fabric. And then this is some nice kind of roughly chiffon -y goodness with lace here. I'll show you some details later. It's got sharing in the back, which is really nice if you want to be able to breathe, which I usually do. I'm very happy with the front of the bodice. I'm surprised this little bow isn't detachable, but with some scissors and a trip to Dresso, I could make it detachable. And of course this goodness on the front here, the pretty drippy chain, which I think goes really, really nicely with the print. Um, the orange and the purple I just think is really, really pretty. And I'm really happy I have this dress. There's cool little checkerboard. I don't know what you call that, parquet, parquet, checkerboard. The ribbon going up the straps and it looks like it's also along the hem. Now I'm just gonna like feast my eyes on this print because it's so amazing. I'm really happy with the way the orange looks with the purple. This is definitely for me my favorite colorway. I thought it made the print look really nice. I'm a little sad that the bats don't show up because on some of the colorways the bats show up a little better. But It'll just be like my special secret. I'll know they're there. I can never remember the name of this print. I always want to call it Rosie's Midnight Masquerade, but I believe it's actually Rosie Knight's Masquerade, which I think is really cute. It reminds me of like people getting together and drinking too much wine and deciding to talk to the spirits as you do. I will show you details in a second and I will also try it on, so be right back. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? It's just Tuesday night. I'm just sitting here, just in my room on Tuesday night, just hanging out. And obviously, I have like a little, a little, a little hurt. Um, yeah, it's a really great jumper skirt. Once I got it on, I didn't mind the length. It, it's it's fine without an underskirt. I'm wearing one anyway, but it's, yeah, it's it's an acceptable length for me. Um, Let me show you some of the good stuff. Let's come over here, friend. So you can see the length is fine. You don't need the underskirt. The bottommost layer is my underskirt. And then this here is the lace from the dress. So it's just my preference to be wearing an underskirt with it. And I've gone ahead and I've removed the waist ties. I don't like when there is a wrong side to the waist ties, so I usually end up taking them off on brand dresses. And this actually gives us a sweet opportunity to review some of the sick details on this puppy. Ooh, spooky. Oh boy, neat. Oh, it's Alice and she's a chess piece. Wow. Um, Ooh, a crow. Neat. No bats yet. But, uh, they're on there. They're on there. So here's some sweet footage of the print. Looking pretty great. Got a bat up here. Secret. Got a dapper bunny. Got ourselves a plague doctor. Or maybe he's just a crow. We don't know. Here we have a beautiful lady. And uh, much the same beautiful person's spooky decor. What is this? Some kind of candelabra? It's good. It's good. This is my new dress. I'm very happy with it. It came at a good time. I needed this. I'm probably just going to sit around the house now wearing it feeling spooky. So that's all for today. I'm going to be doing another one of these in fairly short order. I've got a big shipment coming in from Tenso.
pretty soon, hopefully. And also, hopefully, there won't be any duty because that really sucked this time. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.